What up, it's SoulCon. You are currently tuned in, or at least you better be, to URLTV.TV, the home of battling. Fuck your life. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, live and direct. You are that. URLTV.TV and the place to be with mm -hmm. none other than Soul Khan. What's hey. popping, man? Uh, we are in Fat Beats, a place that uh, I like to call my second, maybe third home. Uh, it's the best record store in New York. It is the last, like, hip hop mecca of its kind. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of classics behind me, a lot of classics are all around. This is where a lot of careers have been made. Uh, <laughs> A lot of careers have been ended in some cases. You know, I battled people here. Uh, this is where, uh, for some smack history, this is where uh, Math and Solomon battled uh, a couple years ago. Uh, also, where you and Cortez battled. Me and Cortez battled here. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. If you haven't been here and you're in New York, you're in the New York area, you owe it, you're, owe it to yourself to really, you know, you know, at least make a visit, you know, once. So let's talk about your history, man. You know what I'm saying? Where are you from and how did you get into battling? I'm from a sleepy little place called Woodland Hills, California, which is in L.A. County. I'm a, I'm a boondocks representative. Um, you can flip that however you want in the battle. Uh, and uh, I, after growing up there, decided to go to school on the East Coast uh, in New York. And I stayed here because I figured that a lot of cats go the easy route and just do what they do where they came up. Um, and I don't disrespect cats, that, that's all good, but I decided to basically give myself the biggest challenge possible and make it in the birthplace of rap. So how'd so, you get into battle? Uh, I got reached out to by someone who was in grind time, and I mean, I was battling before that, but like today, like th this type of shit, like I was brought into grind time, uh, just showed up to battle this dude, yellow rap bastard. I never been any prepared. I did what I do, I freestyled, and, uh, smashed his life, and then I've been doing that because uh, it's you know since basically. So okay, that's dope, man. So you know what I mean. What do you think about battle culture, and why do you think it's getting so popular again right now? I think one of the big things is that like, and I, I've talked to a lot of folks. I'm gonna even talk to some of y'all about it. Uh, the the sort of like shrinking of of like available outlets to promote yourself. Like you can't promote yourself with like a big label budget behind you because labels don't want to spend money because shit's different now. You know, so battling is this new way to do your own stuff. It's like lower overhead and there's an easier, you get the, all the shit out to, to like a bigger audience on the internet, like in the, at the drop of a hat. So it's like, it's, it's, it's cool, you know? And the thing is the one, the one, the, 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 the downside of it sometimes is that like, you get a lot of cats who like expect a certain thing from you musically. Like a lot of cats want you to be like who you are battling. You know, they don't, they don't necessarily expect that you're going to be this type of MC or that type of MC. There's some battlers that don't even make music now, too, which is kind of crazy to me. So. so 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 February 6th is the big day. Yep. It's the big URL battle. Mm -hmm. Your first entry into the URL. Yep. Smack URL. And you're facing Deacon Frost. Yes. How do you see that battle going? What do you think his strengths are? And what are your strengths? How do you, how do you, how do you see that playing out? I mean, it's... Yeah. I guess like it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a cool battle. I think people are gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be entertaining either way. Um, I think his strengths are that he is very confident in himself, and that's also kind of that that can be a, a downside, uh, unfortunately, in some cases. So, you know, I I, I definitely. You know, I wish I wish him the best of luck. I don't really have much else to say about him besides that. I saved that for the battle. Um, what do you think the outcome of that battle is going to be? The outcome? People are going to remember what I say, basically. That's going to be the outcome. I, be, I make it a point to put the biggest footprint in the, in the history and career and life of the person who I'm battling. And this is going to be the moment where he thinks, maybe I should rethink all this. And just kind of turn it around, you know, 180 and maybe go back to, you know, vocational school or whatever, you know, like. So, I, and the great, great, and I said confidence can be a downside too, but, you know, I, I've been fucking around up until this point. Cats haven't seen what I'm capable of, you know, like. Do you think, I, um, you know, like battling in this arena, it was, the format's a little different than where you've been battling. Do you think that's going to be a challenge for you or? No, I mean, the grind time New York audience is really similar to the smack crowd, like. It's it's the most similar possible actually. Like it's it's it's, it's interesting that way because like a lot of cats see grind time as like this one big backpack nerd fest like where everyone's fucking like 
freestyling about you know the solar system and shit after the battle. It's like grind time. If if any place doesn't fit that stereotype is grind time, New York. You know, like y'all would have you probably you'll see some cat. You know, there's a lot of overlap on the fan base. Not necessarily the MCs always, but. I, I'm not. I'm. I'm. There are cats who are gonna be the smack event who know me better than they know Deacon. I got more history than Deacon Frost. I got more stripes than Deacon Frost. That's not a. That's not a. That's not a mystery to anyone. People. So you know, think there's gonna be a clear winner? Motherfucker. Uh, people are handicapping him already. If you look at what people say, both. But I, I know, MCs and fans and like, you know, people in this circuit who basically are saying like, I'm gonna win already. In people's eyes, it's on him. It's his. My, people say it's my battle to lose. That's cool and all, but I don't take anything for granted. I'm gonna go in there swinging, um, do what I can. You know. No, you know he could have the performance of a lifetime. He could have every, there's always time for a miracle, right? Which is what he may need. That's all I'm saying. And he can use. And, and, and you know, I hear he. You know, he, he freestyles a lot, and that's cool. That's good. I do you too. Freestyle? I can freeze. Oh, I, you said if you've yeah. seen any of my battles, I flip some shit and won battles on like t one or two lines, you know. And I'm not. I'm. I'm used to freestyling. That's all good. I'm from the. I'm from like the like, the place where the renaissance of freestyling, you know, occurred in the West Coast. So, so let me ask you this. Let's say you do get past Deacon Frost successfully, or you have a great showing in the URL. Yeah. Are there any other opponents that you would like to battle that are out there, whether they're in the URL or not? I mean, Conceited has recently come over and started battling with the URL. There's a few other yeah. guys within the URL. There's Averb, there's Miles, there's Math Hoffa, there's Iron Solomon. Is there anyone else out there that you can see yourself that you'd like to battle with just from a competition standpoint? Honestly, like you named a lot of cats, a lot of cats who I look up to. And as far as cats I don't look up to, like, I look up to dudes like Averb. Like, that's a dude who's, like, a titan in the field, you know? I'm, Solomon, that's a dude who's, like, a legend in the field. And math, you know, like, no, nah, I wouldn't even, like, that's that's something, something I consider, you know? Because I feel like that's just, like, doesn't even make sense. Conceited, though, you name him, and I'm thinking, like, he, he basically said, you know, turn me down in grind time. I don't know why. I don't think he wants it. But, like, maybe in the URL he thinks he has a better shot. I think it'd be equally bad for him either way. But you know, shout out to Conceited. You know, he's so you new... think you'll be conceited in the battle? I you could set be, it up. I could be conceited in six bars. Real talk. Like I could be conceited in seven or eight. If we, I, I, I basically, I, I've, I've, I've literally ended people's battling careers. Literally ended their careers. You know, I've had accomplishments in grind time. I'm not like the Saurus or Immaculate or those cats, but I've done some shit that earns their respect. I've done some shit that fucking cats are remembering for the rest of this, you know, this battle circuit's existence. Like, I, you know, occasionally, I, I, let me toot my horn for a second. You haven't heard from Amazing Crack, have you? No, you haven't. You know, like, did anyone get a real deal in grind time the way I did before I did? No one. Literally no one. So, so, you know, I'm so talking, you know, Conceded's case, you think, is oh, Conceded, clear, conceded, clear shit, I, it, yeah, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be a fucking question. He could flip my name a million times or whatever, he'll, he'll choke on it, basically. That's what's up, man. There's no, there's no, I'm just going to emphasize that. There's literally no way someone could come across from what I would have for Conceded and say that he beat me. Impossible. Zero percent. The day that'll happen, I swear to God, you, you'll see Sarah Palin in a porno film. I ain't talking about the knockoff. That's what's up, yo, man. It's a pleasure building with you, man. Keep in contact Bro, with us. Absolutely. Let, let, let people know um, how to get in contact with you, your Twitter, your information, how to, how to keep right. up with you. You can probably, uh, you know, hit me up on Twitter. It's, it's, it's twitter.com underscore. That's like the line, the low line. You know, soulcon, that's O-U-L-K-H-A-N. Uh, myspace.com slash soulcon if you're still on myspace for some reason uh, you can come to Fat Beats one of the brown bag all stars my crew including myself will be here every day at some point uh, you could also need a URL TV dot URL TV, TV dot yeah yes I, I did make one it's funny here's the funny part use this in the battle against me I made a URL TV page the first comment I got was a dude saying you trash and I'm thinking like Damn, that's early for the hating, but I figure it's because, you know, Deacon Frost is basically sending his friends to comments on my URL TV page already. 
which is unfortunate. You know, so for whatever. Well, we got, we got, we got, we gonna feature your page on there. And if you That's got any up. beats, mm. any any beats you wanna get to them, you know what I mean? And you don't yeah. Out, oh, so let's get it. Let's holler get me. Out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, yo. If you, if you want someone whose name is actually out there besides just battling, please fuck with me. You know, I'm about to have this blog campaign in, rele- you know, anticipation of my album uh, that's coming out in April. And like, I'm gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna be on Two Dope Boys. I'll be on Hip Hop DX. Gonna be on Kevin Nottingham. Hopefully not right. We are gonna crack that. You know, we, we, you know, brown bag my crew. We do a lot of things. I don't think we're rivaled by any underground crew in New York City. Uh, but that's because we've only been around for a year and we've done more than most cats done in their lifetime. Fuck what everyone else says. So that's what's good. All right, so cool. Con.